Hi, I am Seamless, and this is the 45th 75k tutorial. Yes, this one was requested by Dedel, and it is a sound from the track Wyland Part 2 by Sesco. Sesso, really French looking name that I'm gonna not even try to say right. So, anyway, this is the track. And this is sort of what I'm doing. Which obviously isn't identical, but that's actually not the point of this particular 75k, because for the other, I've actually done bell stuff quite extensively so far. Not just in the 75k's, but also in the how to bases and how to synth and that kind of thing. So this time I approached it a bit differently. Normally, where I would try to synthesize it from scratch, I'm actually using a bell sample inside Harmer to make it play like this. I'm actually going to do that from scratch, because it's pretty easy. Uh, boop. The sample I'm using is this. And this is just a sample I found in uh, this big, super huge drum folder that got included in the latest FL12 update, by the way. So if you don't have that, you might want to go, you know, update your FL. So then you got this. And uh, then I just click drag, and then boom, now it's in Harmer. So what we want to do is we want to turn this into a sound that's not, uh, that has sustain. It just sustains forever. And there's a couple ways we can do that. We can either just turn the speed off and then just move it. Or we can integrate some speed, but then kind of slow it down over time. I kind of like doing this because it allows us to have the beginning of the sample, which has the hit in it. And we kind of get, or we get, are able to do that. Let me just turn on the Gato and Portamento. Pretty great stuff. A little bit of unison for dat stereo spread and crap ton of reverb because trap. Now we can even actually still screw around with the harmonic profile even though we're, we're using this as the sample. And we can do that with the prism. It's pretty straightforwardly actually. And you can have all that kind of control over it as if you did it manually. It has the extra benefit of being sourced from a real one, so it automatically sounds like something that is real without you having to have arrived at that conclusion by doing it manually through manipulating harmonics and positions with the prism or with FM using uh, something like Citrus. So this is, I, th I feel, a slightly more creative approach to doing it, although I personally still would probably just make it from scratch, but it's a lot it's a lot of fun to just find samples and throw it in harbor and see what you can do with it. Anyway, that's pretty much that. Um, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. This patch will be available for download in the description of this video. If you open it up and it says you're missing a sample, it's because you don't have this drums folder, which comes with the latest FL install. It's an update your FL. Or just find some other, other, you know, bell sounding thing and throw it in there. It's really not that uh, specific to this particular sample. Um, if you'd like to make a request for yourself, please do so in the Reddit thread linked in the description of this video, provided I actually link it in the description of this video, because sometimes I forget. And don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe, and all that good stuff. And as usual, have a nice day.